Well, I think it, it's it's iconic in the sense that normally at sort of when you get to sort of your 70s, um, septuagenarian, you, you're sort of like at the point where you're sort of retired and settling back. And I think what makes Andy stand out was that that was at the time when his, his international fame came came around. And so to see somebody who still night by night, many times he used to go to the courts where he played, he still had you know that sort of zest for music his playing was good and it, it's inspirational because a lot of times you know you sort of reach certain ages and you think oh I'm tired you know i can't go and then you see a man at 94 on stage playing and you think i hope i can walk when i you know get to that sort of age and, and that's what made him iconic and in a lot of rehearsals that we do sometimes he would just appear and sit in front of us you know as it's like he he, he, was, he was our audience, so we were playing, he was listening. So he was, he was very involved, both as a sort of inspirational figure and as a mentor. And as I said, I repeat again, in, in a time where you know, people, you know, we all live in communities and we live across communities, but he actually brought communities together. In the band, we have Asian people, we have white people, we have black people. And in my experience, it's very rare in the social context where you get all people, of, 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 irrespective of their background, coming together socially on a week-by-week -week basis like that. It's very rare. So I think that's what makes him remarkable and special.